What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another episode of This Week in SketchUp. So um, this is the second week that I've done this show, so I'm really excited to see where I go with it. Um, feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you like, what you don't like, and uh, let's go ahead and dive into this thing. All right, so first story of the week is something that came up on the SketchUp blog that I want to talk talk a little bit about, and uh, it's pretty cool. They featured an invention that somebody had. So basically, what this is is it's called the Michelangelo Drawbot, and what it is is it's a robot that creates 2D images, like it draws 2D images using coordinates that are given. So one of the cool things about it, and uh, the reason this is a SketchUp story, is because you can actually export your SketchUp models in 2D and send them to this DrawBot, and it'll go through and it'll draw the 2D image of the model that you exported um, on a sheet of paper. So, you know, not like a big SketchUp update or anything like that. It's just kind of something fun. And again, I mean, the whole purpose of this show is to kind of highlight the different things people are doing in SketchUp and just kind of show people, hey, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, and uh, this is just what some of that looks like. So. Uh, I'll link to the blog post down below in the show notes, so click on that, go check it out. Uh, it's over on SketchUp's blog. It's pretty interesting. So this week I want to talk about my number one story of the week is Lumion. Uh, Lumion is a 3D rendering software that helps people create amazing visuals. So if you've ever seen the videos where the camera's kind of flying around, and then you've got people kind of walking by, and then you've got cars driving by, and all that stuff happening in the background, it's probably a Lumion video. There's other softwares that let you do it as well, but Lumion is probably one of the biggest names that lets you just kind of uh, create that stuff quickly and easily. Um, so this week they came out with their best version yet in version 7 and it looks fantastic. So uh, if you go and just check out, they've uploaded a show reel of just stuff that they did in the software and it is amazing. I mean, everything from the way the light comes through, the way the materials look, everything looks fantastic. And they've added some really cool new features this week. So uh, they've added features like adding foliage and ivy and stuff on top of your materials. Um, so that's something that SketchUp maybe isn't the best at, but being able to do that in a third-party rendering software is really, really cool. Um, so they've added that ability. You can add it to pretty much everything. So that's a really cool functionality to have. Um, Another piece they've added that is great for people like me who aren't necessarily texture artists, they've added the ability to add weathering to your objects. So basically if you've ever worked in 3D rendering and you've tried to create a rendering and everything came out kind of shiny and new looking, and it didn't really fit the mood you were going for, um, that's one of the issues that usually comes with working with 3D rendering software. But in this case, it'll let you make objects look less clean, less, less um, less shiny, a little more realistic. So it gives you a whole lot of different options for creating new kinds of scenes. It used to be you'd have to go in, you'd have to um, edit all those materials in like a 3D image editor, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, if you weren't like a texture artist, it was really hard to do. So just being able to kind of drag a bar and just uh, make that change is really awesome. So super pumped about that. They've also added some transparency and translucency options. Um, so you can take objects like drapes and make them somewhat transparent and then uh, kind of let the light shine through and it'll create a lot more like realistic objects. And, and Lumion was already really good with lighting. So I'm really excited to see kind of what some people are going to be able to do with this. Um, I think it's going to be super cool. And then uh, biggest new feature, um, the software now lets you add maps from OpenStreetMap. So it takes it takes the map and then it generates the buildings. So uh, if you're building like a house or an apartment complex and you're looking for some like geographical um, context, uh, this will let you kind of see like what the horizon is going to look like and what all the buildings are going to look like in the background and stuff like that. So it's a really cool cool option to have. It looks like it's pretty easy. I haven't had a chance to give it a try yet, but really excited to see what people are going to be doing with this version of Lumion. So one of the trade-offs is this is a little bit higher end rendering software, so it is more expensive. I'd still recommend at least going and checking it out, going to Lumion's website. But if nothing else, going and checking out some of the videos that are on their YouTube channel and stuff like that, just seeing like what kind of amazing 3D content people can make with SketchUp models and then using this software to take them to the next level. 
All right, so next I want to roll into a segment that I'm going to call the resource of the week. So, uh, you know, going through SketchUp stuff every week, a lot of the time I kind of come on some interesting blog posts or videos or whatever that are really helpful in different areas to make people better in working with SketchUp. And one of the areas that I'm really interested in is uh, 3D rendering. 3D rendering is basically taking your models and applying light to them so uh, you can create really cool photorealistic pictures and images and stuff like that. So this week's uh, resource of the week is a video I found from Daniel Tall. Um, if you've been involved in SketchUp at all, you know Daniel Tall is a huge deal. Um, he's come up with, he's written several different books on SketchUp. He presents at pretty much every base camp. He, all of his info is really, really good. Um, anytime you see a blog post from him, um, he's actually got his own blog where he's doing SketchUp posts and stuff like that. And pretty much everything he ever puts out is worth watching or worth reading because you're always going to learn something. He packs so much information into his presentations. It's just kind of unbelievable, actually. But um, I actually couldn't believe that I hadn't seen this before. But uh, it's a video on YouTube where he actually walks you through the basics of rendering in SketchUp. And uh, it basically talks about everything you're going to need to start creating photorealistic renderings and uh, you know I've been kind of toying around with this for several years now but he he so easily like encapsulates everything into this one video so he really gives you a good basis for how rendering works and also kind of his workflow because his workflow is really cool he creates a lot of cool like building renderings and site renderings and architectural stuff and that kind of thing he's very very good and uh, the video is a little long it's like four 47 minutes long. It's a presentation that he gave somewhere, but it is completely worth watching. Um, it totally blew my mind with how much great information is in there. So I'm going to link you to that video down below. Take take a minute and check that out, but you can also follow him on Twitter and also uh, go to his website. I'll link to that down below and you can subscribe um, so that you can get his new stuff that he comes out every week because pretty much everything he comes out with is amazing. So um, make sure you go check that out. All right, so another thing I want to I want to feature this week, and I'm going to try to do this every week as well, is just featuring um, a new uh, kind of. It's going to be a new segment where I show just cool stuff that's going on in SketchUp. So in this case, um, this is a video that was made in SketchUp and Lumion from an author named Maxime Achowski. Um, Maxime, hopefully I said that right. All right, so I'm going to link to the video down below. I'll show a little bit of it up behind me as well. But basically, it's a multifunctional residential complex that was created in SketchUp and then rendered in Lumion. So the animation part was made in Lumion, but the model itself was created in SketchUp. And uh, it's just really really well done with the music in the background uh, the the way that the parts and pieces kind of come together and then and then light and color gets added to it and then it goes from light to dark and what some of the what some of the weather effects are and stuff like that it's just really well done and i just wanted to highlight this and say what a great job um, this is and uh, just give people an idea of what you can do with SketchUp. So I'm going to try to feature something like this every week. Um, just give people something they can kind of get pumped about um, working with the software. You know, I, I, you know, one of the reasons I started this channel is I felt like, you know, I was kind of thinking, I was like, is, is SketchUp going anywhere? You know, is this kind of dead? Is this still going anywhere? I, I don't really know. And then I started looking around at all the amazing things people are doing and some of the stuff that people are just doing with SketchUp and what it's being used for. I mean, everything from architecture to woodwork to rendering to all this cool stuff. And I just kind of want to highlight some of that stuff and just let people know, hey, this is out here and you can do this with this software. It's really important to me that people know what kind of awesome stuff is going on in SketchUp because this software really is amazing. It's low cost. It's just that's why I had, that's why I started a YouTube channel about it in general is because of all the cool stuff you can do with it. All right, so one of the one of the things that uh, I thought was really cool about the first video that I put out is I got I got a whole bunch of comments um, when I first put the video out, and I just want to highlight a couple of those. Um, and uh, I kind of want to do this every week as well, because to me this this whole show is kind of a conversation. You know, it's it's me talking to you about some of the cool stuff I'm seeing in SketchUp, but also you guys talking to me, and letting me know some of the stuff you're seeing, how you feel about what I'm doing, you know, stuff like that. Because uh, I think I think it's really exciting when people come together and talk about this kind of. stuff. 
stuff. So, um, you know, a couple of the comments that I saw that I that I uh, thought were interesting. Uh, one was uh, somebody was concerned that uh, Microsoft and SketchUp partnering might lead to Microsoft killing SketchUp. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case because as far as I can tell, it's not actually Microsoft buying any part of SketchUp. It's more, it's more SketchUp providing material to Microsoft for Microsoft to use from the 3D warehouse in um, you know, their new 3D application that's coming out. So I don't think there's any risk of Microsoft shutting SketchUp down or even have any, having any ownership over SketchUp. Um, you know, Richard Mueller wrote um, that uh, he enjoyed the SketchUp vlog, but then he also uh, shared an animation he made um, with uh, Animator, which is a plugin that I talked about last week. So uh, I'll show a little bit of that in the background right now. But, uh, you know, if you create anything cool and you want me to feature that, you know, leave a comment and link to that, and I may show that on the on the uh, show as well. So I, I got several different ones just saying, hey, this is this is a much needed thing for SketchUp, you know, just like a, sh a show that kind of talks about the new stuff that's coming up and people are really excited about it. So I think this could really be a cool place where people can kind of come together and just talk about some of the cool stuff that's coming up. So if you guys have anything cool that you'd like me to feature on the show, leave a comment below, let me know. Um, I'd really appreciate that. And also uh, give this video a like. Uh, I really want to make this kind of a big deal, um, kind of a community where people can bring stuff in and uh, just say, hey, you know, this is a cool thing that I saw. Can we feature it on the show and stuff like that? But I am super pumped to be bringing this to you and super pumped to be talking about things like Lumion that are really helping us take all this to the next level. So uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the week. But um, if you need any information on anything I talked about today, check down below in the show notes. And uh, I should have links to everything down below. And again, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't. And uh, we'll catch you next week. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next week.